My name is Doug Morton. I work at the Goddard Space Flight Center. Uh, I use NASA satellites to understand how fires burn across the globe and how those fires release carbon emissions into the atmosphere. It contributes to global warming. Climate and the dryness of the climate conditions influences fire weather everywhere, whether you're in Australia or Greece, Southern California, or across the entire North American continent. 2012 was a very dry year. That dryness is associated with turning forests and grasslands into a flammable mixture of dead material. The long history of observations we have from NASA satellites about how and where fires burn across the globe helps us understand what the climate conditions are when those fires are burning. Those climate conditions are really important as we look towards the future, trying to understand how fire weather may change under projections of future climate change. Most of the climate models project an increase in the risk of fire activity based purely on how dry the conditions will be in the future. When we look at this, we see it in two different respects. The first is that we expect more extreme events. Events like 2012 across the western U.S., we have very dry conditions that persist for several months, are associated with lots of fire activity. If we look for those same kinds of dry events in the future, we see that something that's a once a decade event under today's climate might be three or five years in every decade by the middle and end of the century. When we look at the climate projections, we look to see what the strength of these uh, changes will be under different climate scenarios. Actually, the risks of fires, and particularly the risk of these extreme events, is much lower under a, an emission scenario that suggests we're making strides against reducing our global warming greenhouse gas emissions. If instead we look towards a scenario where we continue to be heavily reliant on fossil fuels, we see that by the middle of the century, the frequency of these extreme fire weather events is likely to increase and the length of the fire season is likely to expand.